Tony Bauer. I'm the director of CSIS Southeast Asia, and we're honored to have with us today the new ambassador uh, of the United States to the Republic of the Philippines, Harry Thomas. Thank you for, for coming to CSIS today. Thank you, Mr. Bauer. I am honored to be the president's representative to the Republic of the Philippines. It's a, it's a great honor and a challenge. What, uh, there, there's been a new election uh, in the Philippines, and uh, there may be a new president. Um, uh, what What are some of the things that you're thinking about uh, as you look ahead? At, you know, taking over at the embassy in the Philippines. What What are some of the top things you'd like to accomplish, and that you think might be possible with the new president? Well, Mr. Bauer, first of all, we want to congratulate the Filipino people on the successful election, with nearly 75 percent of them going to the polls and uh, reaffirming their commitment to democracy. The United States is interested in partnering with the Filipinos on human rights, defense and security, ending terrorism, eliminating the scores of trafficking in, in women and children, uh, but also ensuring that we improve our great people-to-people -people, uh, relations. We have so many Filipinos living in the United States and contributing to America, and that needs to go both ways. So those will be some of our priorities. Okay. Um, you know, the Philippines is one of two treaty allies that the United States has within the ASEAN group. Um, how do you how do you see the alliance uh, relationship, and, and could it be better? Are there things we want to emphasize? Well, the Philippines clearly is a treaty ally, a long-term partner. ASEAN is very important to us, and we're very pleased that the Filipinos have taken the lead on pressing Burma on politics and, and freedom for Aung San Suu Kyi and, and democracy. They deserve a lot of credit for that, and we'll ask the new administration to do the same thing. Thank you. Uh, on the trade and investment front, obviously uh, a lot of people believe a trade policy or an active trade agenda for the United States is sort of a foundation for a foreign policy, particularly in Asia, which is so trade dependent. How do you see the U.S.-Philippine trade and investment relationship? You know, the President and the Secretary are very high on the Trans-Pacific Initiative. Um, we know that one in four American jobs are tied to exports. Uh, we know that China is also having a trade agreements with uh, Southeast Asian and South Asian countries. We want to make sure that they know that this is important to us. Uh, the President is extremely high on renewable energy as a way of growing us out of our, our deficit. And we were the leader 20 years ago. We're not, we're not there yet, but the Philippines, 43 percent in renewable energy of their energy. They're a leader. So that's an area that I think the President would love us to partner with the Filipinos in. Mm -hmm. the, uh, under the last administration, uh, uh, President uh, Arroyo, or the current, <laughs> but outgoing, uh, administration of President Arroyo. The Chinese seem to sort of unlock the key to Manila, and, and Ch Chinese influence in the Philippines uh, really increased over the last five years. Um, is that a problem for the United States, or is there an opportunity? I think it's an opportunity. Uh, there are many things that we work with China on, and we want to continue to work with, with China on, uh, especially in the, in the business realm. It's, it's, and I think that we have to ensure, though, that China's intentions are transparent, that we work on the South China Sea issue through, uh, through ASEAN. That has to be a, a group issue of all of ASEAN, not just one or two, or two countries. Um, but we have to understand that China believes that they need resources and, uh, to grow their economy. At the same time, China has been in the Philippines for hundreds of years. Many of the Chinese uh, who immigrated to the Philippines hundreds of years ago uh, changed their names. Uh, but they, uh, they were businessmen then, and I think a lot of this is benign. What's going to be your favorite part about being ambassador uh, to the Philippines? Working with the wonderful Filipino community, um, we have a, just a beautiful embassy full of hardworking Americans and Filipinos working together, honoring what we did together in World War II. And now I think it's going to be so exciting to work with this new administration uh, on things that are key to both countries, the defense, security, human rights, opening uh, 
opportunities for business, ASEAN. So I'm really going to be excited. And of course, Filipino cuisine, uh, <laughs> music, and basketball. All right. And if I can get to meet Manny Pacquiao, I'll really <laughs> have impressed my family back here. Well, <clears throat> we wish you the best. We're so happy that you're there uh, now. And uh, if we can support you in any way, well, we'll count uh, on it. Thank you so much, Mr. Bauer. Uh, we have tremendous respect for CSIS. We want to partner with CIS and other like-minded organizations in bettering American-Filipino relations. So thank you. Okay, thank you for your time today.